Welcome to the Toast of the Graduates 2021. We will be recording tonight, so please be mindful to mute yourself other than when it's time to toast and celebrate. Graduates, hopefully you know we are giving out five $250 scholarships tonight. Woo woo, yeah, raise the roof, yeah, Pedro, I like that. Um, so in order for us to know that you are a graduate, graduates, if you can rename yourself and put grad at the beginning of your name or end of your name, if you don't know how to rename yourself, you can go to participants, click on your name and you should see the rename button from there. Or you can also click on your own image on Zoom and rename yourself. If you can't figure out how to rename yourself, throw it in the chat, but we're gonna be taking some time between now and the next couple of toasts to get all of yourselves um, added into our raffle. So if we don't know you're a grad, then we can't add you in. So make sure to change your name, add grad to the beginning end or put it in the chat. And if you do win graduates, we do need to hear from you. So this is not a, let's put my name as a grad and walk away and go watch a show. So we're gonna call your name if you win. You have 10 seconds to unmute yourself. If you don't, then we're moving on to the next winner. Okay, so you got some time for that. So get ready, get in the mode. So let's get started. It is my pleasure to announce our first toast of the evening. We all know him and love him. And under his leadership, not only have we created and built a culture of care, but as a college, we have continued to thrive and persevere through the pandemic with student success in the forefront. So join me in welcoming to kick off this evening, HCCC President, Dr. Christopher Reaver. Thank you, Dean Gerasimo. And I am delighted to offer the first toast this evening. So to the Hudson County Community College 2021 graduates and their families, congratulations. Here's wishing each of you much continued success and happiness throughout your educational career and life journeys. Your success is our success. May we all remain forever loyal to our HCCC family. And remember, Hudson is home. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I didn't have my drink. Here we go. You can't see it. Okay. <laughs> Next, we will be making our way into our two faculty toasts of the evening. Uh, so it is my pleasure to introduce our first faculty member, uh, Professor Eric Adamson, instructor of English. Professor Adamson is one of three faculty members to receive tenure this semester. He joined us in 2015, an extremely active professor on campus. Professor Addison serves as the co-chair for the All College Council Space and Facilities Committee, uh, as well as the Presence Advisory Council on Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, and the creator, co-chair, co-founder of the HCCC National Poetry Month. Under his leadership and the committees, today HCCC celebrated the naming of the college's first student poet laureate. In a, recent call, <laughs> in a recent call for nominations or for our notes of appreciation, uh, we had five different students recognize Professor Adamson for the work that he has done in the classroom. I wanna read something one of the students wrote. I wanna give an enormous shout out to the man who was my English teacher for two semesters here at Hudson, the one and only Eric Adamson or Mr. Addison, as I'll say out of respect in the classroom. I would always look forward to English class. It felt as if I was being taught by a friend. Mr. Adamson's energy brings the best out of his students and I will always remember and appreciate him. Join me in welcoming Professor Eric Adamson. Thank you. That was so nice. Um, I haven't even had anything to drink yet and I'm getting a little emotional. Um, okay, so uh, thank you so much for inviting me to Toast to the Grads today. Every semester, every year, uh, students complete their journey at Hudson County Community College and move on. And today, I actually wanna give a shout out to some of the struggles and mistakes and other ways that uh, students make their way through our classes. I know today you'll probably hear a lot of uh, inspiring messages, but I wanted to talk about some of the smaller things that go on. So college is not easy. Right? And often it becomes necessary to use every tool at your disposal to get through the toughest of times. So this is a shout out to those students who use those tools the best. So my toast is for the students who told their professors that they're their favorite professor, only to find out that they say that to all their professors. It's also for those students who sent those 1 a.m. emails asking for an extension on an assignment that was due at midnight. 
And as a side toast to the professors who granted those extensions at 2 a.m. It's also to the students who found their interest and made it work for all their classes. Yes, I am still glad that you wrote me multiple essays about K-pop and you know who you are if you're here. My toast is also for those students who told me that they really loved poetry after taking my class, but for some reason are still nursing majors and not English majors. So what is the truth, right? My toast is also for those students who use slang terms that their professors didn't understand and taught their professors how to use them. You're amazing, no cap. I learned that this semester. My toast is also for those students who laughed at their professor's jokes, not because they were funny, but because they knew that person would eventually be giving them a grade. I appreciate that especially, thank you. And finally, it's also to the students who made it through, even through the various challenges you faced, even if that challenge was just searching for the motivation to complete your class as you waded through the difficulty of a global pandemic and learning a new modality, right? This toast is to all of those students and all of the others I didn't mention. Congratulations, you made it. To those students. Thank you, Professor. I know um, everybody appreciates those extensions, even if it's at uh, an hour after the due date. <laughs> Our next faculty toast of the evening, Dr. Lori Bird. Dr. Lori Bird is the assistant director of the nursing program. And with over 20 years experience in education, Dr. Bird is responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of our amazing and successful nursing program. Serving on multiple committees at the college, Dr. Bird is dedicated to the success of the nursing program's diverse student population. Dr. Bird also received some notes of appreciation this uh, past couple of weeks when we asked for them. And I will share with you right now one of them. Dr. Bird devotes so much time and energy into our program and is dedicated in supporting the students on this very difficult journey of completing nursing school during a global pandemic, as if her job was not already challenging enough. One other student wrote that uh, Dr. Bird responds at all hours that we're not even sure if she takes any time off, <laughs> which I know many of us can relate to. But thank you so much for all of your work, Lori, and join me in welcoming Dr. Lori Bird. Can you hear me now? I always told you technical difficulties, right? Thank you so much to the class of uh, 2021 and thank you for allowing me the time to give a toast to the graduates. You are entering grads, a new phase of your life at a time when the world um, has changed and trying to bounce back to some sort of normalcy. You are the shaper of the changes. You can be the one who changes the face of your careers. Embrace those opportunities. So when opportunity knocks, open that door. Accept the challenge. You might surprise yourself. You must also have a passion in whatever career that you're embarking on. Again, embrace those opportunities. Do what you love. Set your goals, know where you're going and what you want to do. Life is never a straight line and that's okay, but always have a vision of what you want to be. Your achievement today has opened the doors to vast opportunities. Continue on your journey. The best is yet to come. I wanna give a toast to the class of 2021. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Bird. All right, I am, we're almost done entering all of our graduates in for the raffle. So make sure grads, if you have not put grab next to your name, please do that or put in the chat, hopefully grab everybody. 
Um, our next toast of the evening, introducing, if you don't already know, your May 2021 valedictorian, Pedro Morinchel Jr. Woo! Pedro, I saw you on my screen before. Hopefully you're still here. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, <laughs> Now, Pedro has so um, many amazing accolades that I could take up 30 minutes just saying all of them. So mm -hmm. I'll share two of the, the more recent. Pedro is one of two <laughs> Hudson County Community College students to receive the prestigious and highly competitive Jack Ken Cook Foundation Scholarship. Only 72 students in the nation received this scholarship. And as if that isn't impressive enough, Pedro, am I able to share? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Not impressive enough. Pedro was recently selected as one of only 16 students accepted as a transfer student into Princeton University. Ah! Yes, Pedro! <laughs> Pedro is not only an exceptional student, but truly an amazing person. As a student leader who has held roles in many clubs and organizations on campus, including the Student Government Association, Phi Theta Kappa, the STEM Club, and many, many more, Pedro has without a doubt left a legacy that will be part of Hudson's history for as long as I'm here, at least. So everyone join me in welcoming class of 2021, your valedictorian, Pedro Morinchel Jr. Thank you. Thank you so much, Veronica. And thank you all to everybody. <laughs> um, first, I want to say off again, congratulations. Like you really did make it. I, I just want you to take a moment to really just breathe it all in and just really think about what you really have accomplished. I want you to think about the position you were in when you first started lesson. What was going through your mind when you had your series of first how was it the first time you entered through those doors that you registered for classes and the first time you sat in your lectures? And just look how far you come from then. You might have been nervous, excited, both or more. And you might have already known someone or were completely in the blind. And um, some of you may have had uh, additional distinct hurdles, whether it be learning a new language, doing full-time work while balancing study, uh, coming back to school at a later age uh, with new experience, learning a new culture, taking care of children, or some combination of all these issues, or even uh, one that I might have not mentioned. And for these groups in particular, I would ask everyone here right now to give them all a loud round of applause. I am so proud of these folks. <laughs> um, I was always in awe of the continuous ambition these students have um, despite these obstacles and barriers. And I thought to myself consistently, how did they all do it? And how I thought I would never would be able to do it with these particular kinds of obstacles. And it only made me want to focus more on myself even more. And I have the highest respect for these particular students. Regardless, the outcome was the same in that you successfully maneuvered through an academic, professional and personal obstacles and you're coming out with a degree that brings you one step closer to your ambitions, whether that be continuing your education or heading out to the workforce. And I can't stress to you enough about the strength, persistence, and resilience to all of you here, all my fellow graduates, this particular class, that you topple this challenge during a time of unprecedented difficulties during a once in a lifetime pandemic. I cannot stress that enough how much you've done. Um, yeah, and you crushed it, you all crushed it. This is gonna be quite a story to tell in the future, but the story is far from over yet. And I cannot wait to see the future chapters that you will write in your book of life. And thank you all and toast to all the graduates. <laughs> Thank you, Pedro. Congratulations again. And everyone, all of our graduates, hopefully you're joining, you're logging in tomorrow, YouTube, 12 o'clock noon to watch our virtual commencement ceremony. And you'll be able to see Pedro's full valedictorian speech at that time. All right, it is giveaway time. Um, Vice President for Student Affairs Enrollment, Lisa Doherty, will be our announcer today. I'll be managing this wheel. Lisa, you there? I am here, can you hear me? Yes, all right, the floor is yours. I'm gonna share, do a roll. Remember grads, you have 10 seconds to unmute, otherwise we're moving on. And then you gotta answer some questions that Lisa will ask you. 
All righty, let's see. You can see the wheel, right? While the wheel is spinning, can I just share uh, some a thank you and immense gratitude to you, Veronica, and your team for making our commencement activities as special as they can possibly be yet another year in the pandemic. So thank you to everything you have done. And graduates, I hope you'll tune in tomorrow. I got a preview today and the virtual ceremony is amazing. Thank you so, so much. Um, ready? I'm ready. All righty. Our first winner. Is that me? <laughs> All right. So that is Amber. Hi. <laughs> Amber, hi. Congratulations. Tell us what major you're graduating with and where you're going next year. Um, I'm graduating with liberal arts, and next year I'm going to Rutgers. Good for you. Well, we hope that this will be helpful. And uh, anything you want to share as you are the first of five winners tonight? Uh, um, I would say that this last semester was definitely one of the hardest, but HCC uh, definitely helped uh, keep our heads in the game with everything, every event that they did. They just like helped us take the weight off everything. Yeah, I'm really appreciative for this school too. Oh, that's great. We appreciate you. Congratulations. And you. Uh, we hope to see you in the grad walks next week and good yeah. luck next year at Rutgers. Yeah, I will. Thank you. You're welcome. Woohoo! All right. Second winner. All right, Arsh, chop on. Arsh, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, good. I'm so glad, Arsh. I really hope we go five for five tonight. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Tell, tell us what uh, major you're graduating with and what your next uh, step is. I'm graduating with a psychology major, and I'm transferring to Rutgers next semester. Oh, good. You guys can be friends. Make sure you, you meet each other. If you haven't already, you can always use a friend at your four-year school, right? Sure. Anything you want to share as a graduate? Uh, I would say I'm speechless at the moment. Um, it has been a great experience in Hudson. Uh, I never imagined I would uh, get, a such, get such a chance to meet uh, professors that have been lot throughout the semester. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's wonderful. Well, we're very happy yeah. that you had a great experience and good luck to you next year at Rutgers. Congratulations. And we hope to see you next week in the grad walks. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, winner number three, let's do it. All right, Anthony. I'm here. Anthony, I'm I feel here. Like I've, I've <laughs> seen this name. Anthony, I've yes. seen your name. Technical difficulty? Oh, no, Lisa. No. I'll take over. So, Lisa, we've seen your name, Anthony. What is your major? Where are you heading to? Uh, my major is accounting. I'm going to the College of New Jersey. So. Wonderful. What are you looking to do with your accounting major? I mean, I guess being accountant. Um, so, I've got an internship this summer at EY, Ernst and Young. Oh. I'm, nice. I'm looking forward nice. to that. That's yeah. amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm writing you down, Anthony. We'll be in touch so we can get your scholarship. Nice. Thank you. Wonderful. All right, let's do this again. I don't know if we got Lisa back. All right. Not yet. Not yet. All right, winner number four. I'm here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you.
you so much. What an honor. This is great. Um, I am graduating with um, my associates in business administration, and I'm hoping to move forward in my current uh, employer. So um, also contemplating whether or not to go ahead and continue with online class. It's a little hard because I do have two small children and working full time. So, um, you know, Kudos to those who are on the same boat as me. <laughs> but uh, congratulations to everybody that is graduating this year. I'm so proud of myself and so proud of everybody. And uh, thanks so much for the support. Mm -hmm. We're so, so proud of you as well. Congratulations. Um, oh, wait, so are you going, you're, you're, are you transferring to a four year? Um, so I'm going to. I'm going to think about it right now, but I think, right, I'm trying to move forward in my current employer yeah. um, now that I have my degree. So, you know, trying to step up here and there. <laughs> okay, well, we'll talk about your scholarship. We wanted to go to something that's going to, you know, better you. So that could be a whole lot of things. Absolutely. So yep. Take care. All right, everybody. Our last winner of the evening. Maria Joffrey. Hi, it's me. Maria, congratulations. What's Yay, your, thank what's you. Your, what's your next step? So my major is early childhood education. I plan to go to Pace for uh, my bachelor's and master's, uh, oh, like the dual program. And uh, I plan to go into social work. And I want to be a guidance counselor at school. Yay, that's amazing. You said Pace? You're looking for the Pace? Yeah. Awesome. I know Dr. Clark. Uh, alone. Used to work there. So we know we got some Pace pride in the house. Um, well, congratulations. Yeah. Awesome. And we Thank you. you. And we're so excited to see what you're going to continue to do in your field. Yes. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Wonderful. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll hopefully see you next week in the grad walks. If not, we'll definitely see you at the virtual tomorrow. Yes. Great. All right. Thank you. All right. To kick uh, to end out our night with our final toast of the evening, um, you will join me in welcoming Dr. Daryl Jones, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Thank Jones. you, Veronica. And I am bringing a huge salute and congratulations to the finest community college graduates in the state of New Jersey. Congratulations to everyone. A moment of honesty. It's really hard not to get emotional on an occasion such as this. You all have not merely risen to the challenges of the time, but you have truly inspired us with your deep commitment to learning, your compassion, and your ability to adapt. Seeing so many of you here this evening is testimony to your commitment to staying focused and staying on the course. Phrases like congratulations, a job well done, and you did it, somehow do not seem to capture the gravity of the moment. So much has transpired over the last year and a half, and it's not easy to put in words. Tonight, I'm looking at faces, that have sat in our offices for meetings, faces that have studied in our classrooms, faces that have conducted experiments in our labs, faces that have marched in our streets and served in our communities. It's hard to hold back the tears and the smiles. As many of you might be experiencing right now, graduation comes with a swirl of emotions. There's joy, excitement, grief, pride, and gratitude. But who can deny this graduation is unique for a class that is certainly unique such as you? Although you are transitioning into the world that's undergoing massive change, please know that you still have a path forward and an opportunity to make the world your own. Take comfort in knowing that Hudson County Community College has provided you with an unmatched opportunity to grow and to lead. You are now equipped with knowledge, but just as importantly, with the knowledge on how to learn. So class of 2021, I not only salute you, but I leave you with a challenge. Be deep thinkers. Use your creative and analytical powers to address the economic, 
the scientific and the social issues of the day. And you know what? Our post-pandemic society will certainly need you. Congratulations, graduates. And with that, our last toast, we ask everybody unmute yourself and let's cheer for our class of 2021. Congratulations. 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 Wow. Congrats. Congratulations. That's right. Shout out to all the criminal justice students. Melissa, Melissa. Hey, Mr. Lamb, thank you for everything. You're welcome. Thanks, God bless. Thanks, yeah. Keep in contact. Thank you, everyone. Congrats, guys. I would like to give a shout out to all the education majors. Congratulations, everybody. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow virtually at the virtual commencement ceremony on YouTube. If you're taking part next week in the grad walks, we'll see you in person at the General Square campus. And we are so proud of you and excited and can't wait to see you. Thank you. We are your family and we'll be here whenever you need us. And everybody? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, everybody. Congrats. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. I liked it.